Hey Scorpio, welcome to your December 2017 General Taroscope reading. This is Lauren with the Clarity Cure. Welcome back. Nice to see you. I want to wish you all a happy and healthy holiday season and a wonderful 2018. All the best to you and thank you for all your support. I started my channel in July and without you, my viewers, it would not be possible to continue to move forward doing these readings every month. Um, so thank you again so much. I have posted, I believe in the eye in the sky, or I will be, my December 2017 promotions. Uh, you definitely may want to book a reading now as I'm filling up. Um, I'm also doing some giveaways and I didn't want to get into all that now. Um, also, the information will be listed in my description box below as well. So let's jump into the reading. Um, very interesting. You have the Three of Fire or the Three of Wands here. This uh, card is part of the, or from the, I apologize, the Clet Baron Reed Good Tarot. I love this deck. The depictions are just beautiful. The illustrations, um, I forget the name of the artist. I apologize, but I'll list that information below if any of you are interested in getting this deck. Uh, it is quite beautiful. So, you know, the Three of Wands speaks about, you know, really being on um, the right path, so to speak, of um, expanding your opportunities and looking forward to your success, uh, having abundance, you know, and opportunities before you. Um, it's combined with why. So whatever your intentions are, and this is by Clip Baron Reed as well. This card is from the Wisdom of the Oracle. Um, yeah, uh, there's some card combinations in here that made me, you know, go right here. So please, like, make sure you understand what your intentions are and your motives, okay? Um you know, you have the Seven of Swords crossing the Four of Cups, and there's some emotional boredom here in the beginning of December. You're going to have a, quite a few decisions to make. Some of you, I feel this is going to definitely be in love, and some others, I feel this could actually be an offer in business. Um, I would just say be on the up and up. Um, your main overall energy, let's just kind of start here, is the Temperance card moving into December. You know, this is a very divine feminine energy, um, a spiritual energy here for you to take advantage of. This is all about divine timing. So if any of you don't do anything hasty or risky with the Seven of Swords crossing the Four of Cups because you might be bored, uh, but this is you being guided on the right path. You're asked to go with the flow and not to force any kind of situation because this divine inspiration is speaking through your creativity and going to give you an opportunity to manifest what you want here. So balance is key. And if any of you have an, um, an affinity towards Archangel Michael, here's an opportunity for you, you to um, pray or tap into that energy through meditation or however you want to do it to help you during this time. It's a very powerful opportunity, um, you know, opportune time. Uh, to even sever ties that no longer serve you. Yeah, so the situation overall is the Four of Cups. So it looks like, you know, you're moving in December being, I don't know, quite disillusioned by maybe an opportunity coming or, or where you are in your life right now. You're being handed this cup, right? This offer coming in, uh, it's depicted by the hand of God, but you're just kind of looking down. You, know, you already have some cups over here. You know, maybe it's a job offer and you're like, eh, you know, yeah, I need a job, but I'm not, you know, crazy about this offer. Or it could be an offer in love as well for some of you. Definitely for sure, because you have the Ace of Cups here in the Lover's card, um, you know, as we move along. So just keep that in mind. It's crossed by the Seven of Swords. So like I said earlier, be very careful um, not to take any risks or hasty. Um, there could be people around you that could be jealous as well for some of you, or, you know, I would say 
definitely keep your cards close to your chest. I would protect your own interests. Somebody could potentially steal something from you, maybe take some of your ideas or even, you know, jealous of a new relationship coming in for you. Um, so be super conservative. Um, and personally for yourself, be on the up and up. I wouldn't do, you know, anything shady. <laughs> I feel like not that you're manipulating here because you're on the right path, but you are questioning, like you have the Y card here. So just touch base with your intentions. Um, you definitely don't want to come across that you're being shady or stealing anything, if that makes sense. Scorpio. Yeah, and what's kind of led you to this point is this Nine of Swords. And, you know, this is that, um, you know, sleepless nights, being really stressed out. Um, worrying, okay, um, this would be actually a great time to call to faith, as I mentioned earlier, okay, through prayer and meditation, because um, it looks like you're still struggling here, uh, but this, a lot of this is just fear, and it's in your own head, so a lot of times the solution's right in front of you, um, but, you know, you got to get out of this headspace, so, Regroup, yeah, because that offers here, and, and you have the decisions. You're going to have to make a decision here by the middle of the month. Um, crowning you, and the best possible outcome is this offer, I think, that's coming in that you're waiting for. It's the six of wands, I'm sorry, the king of wands. And this is, you know, the master of manifesting, right? He takes a leadership role. He's an idea person. He's extremely goal-orientated. He could also be, let's see, a um, Aries, Leo, or Sag person coming in with this offer for you. Um, so here you go. It, it's going to happen. And you're going to be happy. Now, you're going to be super crazy busy. Um, juggling quite a few projects, maybe. It's also the holidays, maybe family, all that stuff. But you're going to be able to do it. Um, uh, let me think here. This could also be two choices or two people, okay? Um, maybe that's been the issue. You've been trying to decide on the right partner here. So you have the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands here. So, you know, to me, this is a couple, you know, when they kind of come together in one reading, um, that's how I read it. You know, very strong um, possibility here that, um, you know, this is the person you want coming in, okay? Um, and this is you in the recent past being all fiery. I mean, yes, you're a water sign, but, you know, maybe you've been, um, I wouldn't say aggressive, but you've tapped into that, you know, that um, creative opportunity here, okay? And you've been super busy and, you know, you're a natural born leader. You could have a rising sign um, in the uh, fire signs as well. And she goes for it, you know. I feel like this is definitely something you've been working on for a while because you know where you're going. You have the three of wands here. Um, maybe you just took a little detour over here, okay? And that's okay. I mean, we all go through those moments, um, you know, and that, that that's part of life and making decisions and deciding what we want, okay? Uh, so you're on the right path. Um, there's abundance before you. And this all through like that creative fire energy, like the queen of wands who's here and the king of wands. Maybe some of you are working on a huge creative project as well um, related to a business that you're looking to get off. You're going to um, definitely be able to move forward and make that decision. And here's you. Your power in this situation, Scorpio, is the page of cups. And this is water sign Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces person. Um, 
again, another very creative card about new beginnings, right? Being open to the unexpected, receiving messages. I feel if you tap in, okay, to your own um, intuition, you're going to have get some more insight. This is like the inner child within, like you're in a really dreamy, great place. Um, so this is positive news. The pages are messengers. So, wow, you know, I feel like... Very, very nice, Scorpio, that you are going to, you know, get this new relationship. Uh, some of you may even be traveling. Some of you might even hear of somebody, you know, in your family uh, or a loved one, you know, getting pregnant or something like that. It could be about other children or one of your children as well, okay? Yeah, and the energy coming in, how others see you is the Ace of Cups. So here you go. I mean, this is definitely, you know the blessing of a new beginning in love and um, maybe you've been questioning you know if this new awakening would be coming in for you um, so here you go and for you uh, for I'm sorry if it's not in love for some of you that it would be in relation to any kind of partnership like I had mentioned uh, earlier there's definitely some business indicators here with these um king and queen of wands and you trying to decide you know uh, what path you want to go down um, and or what you love relationship as well so this is definitely a blessing from heaven this is kind of beautiful very rewarding time for you and well deserved as well and you're tapping into that love that's what I love about this um, you get it being the water sign and in your hopes and fears is the lover so the lovers is about following your heart uh, the card sometimes represents a choice or decision to follow your heart and I would say definitely do that this this will definitely work out for you this could be a Gemini person coming in for you as well um, and let's see this is a lot of times a moral choice you know taking the high ro road or the low road so I mean I wouldn't cheat or do anything like that if you if you have a current partner and this is new love coming in just be on the up and up remember you know this is just not worth it um, to get in this combination of three people or, or you know a third party and not be honest about how you feel you know honestly you'd just be very bored with your your um existing relationship okay scorpio uh, just be yeah hopeful and honest um the final outcome wow beautiful the four of wands so here you are how you know this is a happy surprise card um, this new relationship is definitely going to work out for you. Any of you that have been having issues with a relationship, uh, this will work out as well. Four of Wands is all about foundation, celebration, taking action, you know, becoming the change, uh, making the, boast of, uh, the best out of a situation. Okay, so bring stability. Um, let's see, this could be possible move eh, for some of you. Um, and it's also a celebration. Look how far we come. I actually feel like definitely some of you are deciding, okay, um, or rekindling a relationship in to the point where uh, maybe you weren't sure how you felt, okay. So, again, this is about you know reaching that great point. And relishing in the trials overcome. Maybe you had a rocky time in your relationships as well. So beautiful integration, prosperity, peace, happiness, marriage for some of you as well. Very, very nice, Scorpio. Let's just pull a couple of clarifiers for you. Let's see what else I'm getting as I... Kind of take a look here. It's a little hard with some of these general readings, but I think with temperance here and you being on that right path, 
just don't divert. Just be honest about your intentions. No cheating. This could be an offer from, from somebody else that you're not really excited about, but then you have new love coming in. You have to tell this other person, okay, bye-bye. <laughs> That's what I'm picking up on. I'm not laughing <laughs> at the situation. I'm just trying to give you guys some options here. All right, let's see what we got. What are the clarifiers? For our lovely Scorpio for December, the Hermit. Hmm, interesting. Okay, maybe looking within for your answers. Here's your lover's card. So you have it twice. That's really, really powerful. Definitely, um, you're going to have to go inside and seek some clarity here. Um, and that, you know, that's going back to the why, you know. Uh, what are my intentions with this new person? What are my intentions with leaving an old relationship for some of you? And, you know, here's the time of moving on. Smoother waters. This could be travel as well. And this is the Six of Swords. Um, I love the colors in this card. Moving away from difficulty. King of Swords. Wow. So you have the King of Wands. You have the King of Swords. Wow. Some of you could definitely be um, meeting a air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. So I mentioned that earlier with the Lover's card. Mm hmm. Okay, you know, you've been carrying a heavy load, but that's okay, you know. Uh, it's going to come to an end, and you're going to get your happy, um, you know, outcome here. Let me see what else I'm picking up on. Hmm, King of Swords, you know, I don't see any legalities here, but it is possible. You know, maybe some of you had to deal with... Um, you know, just being really blunt about how you feel or maybe you had to deal with a decision coming your way and this could have been kind of on a legal level, meaning, seek, you know, you had to seek advice and, um, you know, focus on the core issues and get to the heart of the matter and, you know, be compassionate but intellect you know, using your intellect as well, if that makes sense. So, and moving forward for yourself, you know, um, you know, that's okay. He's looking at the, um, you know, the six of swords. So, and they're both swords cards. So you are moving on. Okay. What else am I picking? Come on. Let's just do a quick romance angel cards for you. I am doing now love tarot. Uh, so in lieu of the mid-month reading, I'm going to do a love reading. So you'll get your monthly general and your monthly love reading. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Um, I'd love to have you become a part of my community. Um, and we'll see what else... 2018 brings. I might be doing some other kind of readings as well. Okay, what is the Romance Angel message for Scorpio for December 2017? Romance Angel card. Message. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart and give to give and receive the highest energy of all. Beautiful. That's definitely meant for somebody. All right, Scorpio, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Uh, please give this re uh, video a thumbs up. Uh, as I mentioned before, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or you can email me. My contact information is below. Or you can visit my website, theclaritycure.com. Okay, guys, have a great holiday. We'll talk to you soon. All right, bye-bye.